Hello there, Erner here and today I want to show you very important detail about Troy mechanic which is all around flanking to the side. To demonstrate this, on one side I have heavy Trojan Spearman, solid standard front line with 52 defense and the defense uh, will be topic of today. Our opponents are Trojan defenders, they have 58 defense. We will also have a look on their defense during this test as well. Uh, I want to simulate standard battle of the front lines and flanking to the side will be really connected uh, to this um, test. So let's charge, let's have our front lines engaged together. Is under attack. They should be fighting very well. And now I can stop and show you the side flanking. Uh, side flanking is usually when you have front line and then you got one extra unit to go and attack the side. But in Troy there is the flag around uh, back, uh, back around flanking and the problem is our hero was having 52 defense as well similarly as these heavy trojan spearmen and also this one as well so our front line is flanked to the side and here in the morale you can see they are taking 10 morale away because they are flanked to the side but I don't have units on the side or even here but let me zoom in closer do you see this uh, little dude one dude between our two heavy Trojan spearmen this one heavy Trojan defender is making both of our frontline units to be flanked and if I have a look on enemy units the Trojan defenders no longer have 58 defense. They are attacked in the flank because they are being flanked by our hero or maybe on this side they are being flanked by the heavy Trojan spearmen. What makes Troy completely different from every other Total War is that uh, when a single model let's show me the proper uh, this single model is enough to apply side flanking effect to whole enemy unit and and because of this and because just one model is enough the whole unit is getting side flanked maybe here we will be able to see something similar yes uh, have a closer look on the ye yellow and markings and this red marking so this one hero heavy trojan spearman is fighting against uh, two uh, trojan defenders from the middle from the center one while the rest of the army rest of the unit is fighting the side Trojan defenders. So therefore, uh, our unit is flanked to the side. And this explains why your front line is collapsing much faster in Troy. If they were just fighting one versus one, like here, they would still have full defense. Uh, but these two units do not have uh, any interaction from enemy units. We can even exploit this uh, mechanic. We just need one of our models to be touching these Trojan defenders just to lose defense. Let me stop right here. I have... I'm using this kind of exploit 
I know that uh, this heavy trojan spearman is already flanked, but he can go and flank next frontline unit. And because of these one or two models have touched the enemy, uh, the enemy is suddenly, you guessed correctly, flank, attacked in the flank. May, and there is a second small bug. Uh, the morale is sometimes uh, completely disconnected from the melee defense. So if I try to move this unit back and models back from the from the flanking, maybe right here. And let's double check. Ah, they are still attacking the flank. Okay, never mind. But the point is that your front line in Troy, even though we have nice two front lines and enemy is having their front line like, like here, even though uh, the battle will be much faster, everybody is flanking each other just because of very small, just one model is enough to cause flanking effect for the whole unit. This knowledge you can use to break enemy units much faster and maybe it explains why the battles are happening so fast. So this is the side flanking broken mechanic and that's how it works. One good news is that in the extended faction mod we try to limit this uh, uh, this mechanic to some degree so you would be having much better frontline versus frontline experience in the extended fo mod and that is all I hope you find this interesting and See you later.